I love controversial. For a Let's go for controversial. <laughs> who, who wants controversial? Who wants controversial? Come on, tell me. You want controversial, yeah, be don't quiet. you? And this is Jim. And welcome back to JS Backstage. <laughs> so welcome, welcome back, guys. Thank you so much. We had so much fun on the live stream. It was fun. It was I fun. enjoyed talking to everybody. Things didn't go exactly the way we wanted them to. There were a few glitches. Maybe I'll get them straightened out next time. Maybe there'll still be glitches next time. But it was fun. <laughs> It was fun. It was fun. And we will do it again. Yeah. Anyways, guys, so thank you so much for that. And also, thank you. We're at 18,000 subscribers. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much for 18,000 subscribers. Now, get us to 10 million. Get us to 20,000 on the road to 20,000, guys. Thank you so much for every one of you who subscribed. And every one of you watching our videos who haven't subscribed, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. So, we appreciate every viewer. We love you one and all. Thank you very much for watching. Anyways, guys, so today what are we talking about, baby? I think the topic was going to be racism. Oh my gosh. So many other things get lumped into the category with racism. Racism is specifically the belief in the superiority of one race over another race. Uh. That's a very specific thing. All too often, common prejudices, uh, bigotry, misogyny, and other dislike of people gets lumped into the same category as racism. But racism is a very, a very specific thing. Um, everyone has prejudices. To, and when I was when I was growing up, they lumped racism in with prejudices, and they used the term. The most common term was prejudice. Prejudice means to prejudge, to judge without knowledge. And absolutely everyone is guilty of it from time to time. We all look at somebody and based on the cut of their hair, their tattoos, whether or not they have a beard, what kind of beard they have, the clothing that they're wearing, uh, wh whether, or not the, it, 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 whether or not their hands are clean, whether they're smoking a cigarette or riding a motorcycle, we look at people and we make judgments about them. And those judgments may be miles off. <laughs> and, those, and that's prejudice. To judge without knowledge. That's prejudging. Racism is much, much uglier. They're both born of ignorance, but... Prejudice is more often an innocent ignorance, easily cured by knowledge. Racism is often more of a deliberate ignorance. You want to believe that your race is superior to another race. And so you invent reasons why your race is superior to another race. Why there's a difference and that difference makes you better than them. Racism is evil. And the people who promote it and poison people's minds with it are evil. 
but not everybody who's caught up in the racist memes, the racist lines, the, the racist way of thinking is evil. Many of them are simply confused. There are a lot of reasons why people become confused, and it's easy to convince people that because someone is different, one is better than the other. It's easier to it's easy to to convince people that because there's differences, that means one is better and the other is less. But education can cure the more innocent ones. Education can cure the people who are simply caught up in the mix. Education can't do anything about people who know that they're full of it and simply see a benefit in promoting these lies. We need to educate people. People need to understand that differences don't make one person better than another. That just makes them different. Am I going to be the only one talking through this whole no, thing? No, I was going to talk, but you were just going on okay. and on. So <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to cut you. I didn't no. want to cut you off because I didn't want to spoil your vibes. You know, I didn't have much to say in terms of that because you know. <laughs> For me, I don't know how to put this without it being without it being controversial. But oh, let's go for controversial. <laughs> I love controversial. For let's me... go for controversial. Who, who wants controversial? <laughs> who wants controversial? Come on, tell me. You want controversial? Yeah, be don't quiet. You? Oh my god. <laughs> for me. You won't be quiet. You know, go. You know, go quiet now. You know, go. I go. I go. I go. Sew your mouth. I go sew your mouth. But for me, guys, um, it was a little different because I wasn't born here. My parents were not from here. Um, my grandparents weren't from here. So, for me, coming from Africa, it was so different. I couldn't tell racism if it slapped me in the face. I just could not tell. When I started working and you know, whatever situation went on at work, I always just said, oh, this person is having a bad day. You know, I mean, I, w I was always giving excuses for, you know, all kind of behaviors. Cause you know, I wasn't looking at it like, oh, you know, they <laughs> it's because of you know they're trying to be racist or they i just never ever ever looked at it that way you know it wasn't until um the experience we had with the police where um, a lady called the police or not now that one was a little obvious but still i i don't know if i back then i don't know if you know i don't you didn't know. start picking up on it i didn't that, pick that, on that, it yeah yeah that did, <laughs> even even that you you didn't understand yeah even back then I didn't really get it it wasn't until you know people having issues with police here and there you know it, it's not or, or all this of the Karen's you know when the Karen things started coming up you know that's when it was like okay you know that's when I started picking up on all these things that you know happened to me previously so for me I couldn't really tell it because I wasn't from here I didn't know what people were thinking because back home I mean sometimes you have you know you go to people you go to office not every office people are nice to you you know <laughs> you can go to an office and people are you know just having a bad the way I look I always said they're just having a bad day so it's the same here you know if I had any issues with it you know just somebody treating me you know not so nice way I would just say oh my gosh they're having a bad day you know I just always gave that excuse so it wasn't until um we had we had a warehouse here um and we used to mail out a lot of um things that people bought and so you know every single day i went to the post office so i always went to this post office and this particular post office and every single time there was this lady in there this old lady not old old but she was older lady and oh my gosh she was not nice at all i always told my husband oh my gosh this lady is so grumpy there's this lady at the post office and she's also grumpy but i think she's just having a bad day and you know <laughs> 
you know, just feeling sorry for her. I was like, you know, she was just having a bad day. But it was like every day, every day I went to this post office, she was just, she was like me, like me, me, you know? <laughs> she was always coming back, talking about it. Was, yeah. This lady found fault with absolutely everything. everything. She nitpicked every package everything. That, that, that Sarah brought to her. She rejected packages for this reason, that reason, the other reason. Oh my gosh. She, it, it, she was just miserable to deal with. Yeah, because the packages were big. They were like big boxes. But So one day I was like, babe, hmm. I know they go inside, yo. <laughs> I was like, it's your turn to go inside. You know, we drove down there. I was like, it's your turn to go inside. And you know, and Jim went in there and he came back and he was like, What you talking about, lady? Is it the same lady you're talking about? Because she was, to me, oh my God. she was smiling. Oh my God. She was sweet. She was almost flirtatious. <laughs> she she was so so super super nice didn't question anything D it didn't it, it didn't make a fuss about anything that it no there were no issues whatsoever everything was smooth as rain it, it's as sweet as pie <laughs> and guys it was it was then it hit me you know I think that was when we put it together, right? Yeah. And it, it was then it I was like, oh my that's gosh. That's when it became absolutely obvious. That's when it hit me. That's when it slapped me in the face that this lady is just racist. Because I was like, there is no, you know how somebody just treats, you, you know, so mean and you're, you just want to be like, be like, okay, let me just be nice to this person. Because, you know, and it's like day after, and it's like one day he went in and I'm like, you know, I was so mad, guys. I was so mad that I... Did I report her? Because I was saying I was going to report her, remember? You said you were going I said to. I, was I don't going remember to, if you ever did. I was going to file a complaint and report her. I don't think I followed up, but we just had so much going on. I was so pissed because I put it together. I'm like, there is no way this... Le I mean, I, come, I went to that post office every single... I mean, every single day at the end of the... You know, when we closed at the shop. You know, every single, I was like so pissed. I was so pissed. I was like, wow, like how, you know? But that's when it hit me in the face, guys. I mean, <laughs> it took me forever to figure it out. So, I mean, that's the way it is. Because when you're not from here, it's not it's the not. same. You know, if you've watched all these movies and you've read all those books, it really, is, it really isn't the same until, you know, something just really, really happens to you that's like, okay you know it's not this i couldn't tell and you know you can be prejudiced against someone of another race without inherently thinking that your race you and your race are superior to that race so was this simple prejudice or was this racism like it's individuals among white people Correct. black people Correct. Like hispanics or uh, or Asians who act act out toward uh, people of uh, uh, people who are different from them. Correct. Correct. You know, it, it's not the it, races aren't bad. Groups of people, uh, entire groups of people uh, uh, who are a color of skin or uh, uh, or a uh, uh, or a particular. Uh, eye color or hair color or height or uh, or weight aren't all anything mm -hmm. they're individuals correct it's the individuals that are prejudiced racist bigoted and these are all all of those things although they're similar they're slightly different there are slight, sometimes very important differences between racism, prejudice, and bigotry. Bigotry is actually the worst because a bigot, bigot hates everybody who's not him. <laughs> a, a, a bigot, a, a bigot hates everybody who does who doesn't look like him, doesn't think like him, doesn't dress like him doesn't act like him, doesn't have the same job he has. Uh, a bigot hates everybody who's not him. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I've had some experiences. Um, that, that one, that one was one. That was one that really slapped me in the face because you know it took me forever. Like seriously, I never. I mean, after everything, that woman just you know the way she treated me every single day. I never, ever, ever thought in my head, oh, she's just been racist. I did. It didn't even. It didn't even click in my head. You know. It wasn't until Jim went in. It, it was fairly obvious when I when I oh went in there. Oh my god! And she was <laughs> so nice to me. Oh, um, I, so, I mean, so nice to me. Because I tagged Bent her over backwards to be nice to me. I just tagged her the grumpy old lady, period. But I've also had experiences. <laughs> <laughs> we were people called me. They told me what I don't like black people. I think there was we at, the, at our shop, and we had all these people called people working for us. And you know, sometimes when you're trying to tell somebody what to do, and <laughs> and you're a woman, and they don't want to listen to you. I had this dude, this you know, just same color as me, you know. And he just said, he said I didn't like black people. I'm like, see. <laughs> because my husband's white. He said, I don't like black people. I said, okay, I don't hear. <laughs> oh, my day. When I was working at the jail, I, 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 was, I was accused of, of being prejudiced oh, yeah. against white people. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were accused of being prejudiced against black people. But I, mean, I, 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 was actually, I, I was caught in the middle. Correct. Uh, uh, blacks who knew me never thought that I, uh, uh, that I was prejudiced, but blacks who didn't know me would see me, look at just me, look at you. just look at me, and, uh, 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 and accuse me of being KKK. But, but seriously, if I'm not there like this, you know, if I come out like this, they just look here. Just if it's just me. <laughs> if it's just me. <laughs> and it's just you. You you have that look. <laughs> but being white, I got to see racism in its rawest form. Because white people, before they knew I was dating black women, before they knew I was close friends with black people before they knew th how objectionable I found their racism would just spout off. I'm in law enforcement, you know, law enforcement tends to have a lot of racists. Uh, it, not all. They're not all racists, and there were many like me who were offended by, uh, uh, by some of the things that went on. But, like, I would take a, I would take a class out of, uh, out of the college. It would be all law enforcement in, in, in the room. The instructor would be, a, uh, uh, would be law enforcement or former law enforcement. And, you know, they'd look around the room, and one, one looked around the room and says, Oh, no black faces. Good, I can tell this joke. And proceeded to tell a racist joke. Just because there were no black people in the room, he thought everybody would enjoy the joke. That would be funny. And, you know, didn't like it when I, when I objected when I was offended by it. You know, thought it, you know, got his hackles up over the fact that a white person didn't like his racist joke. But, uh, and, and there was another time at, at, at working at the jail where uh, a corporal came on my unit and uh, pr proceeded to uh, uh, brag about uh, having a hunting license for coons, and he didn't mean raccoons. And I, you know, I said that's okay. I got a hunting license for people who wear white sheets. Oh my lord! <laughs> and he says, "Oh no, don't do that! You might shoot me." I'm like, "I might." Wow. <laughs> I, that's exactly what I said. I said, I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> when you encounter people who are racist, when you're the same color they are, and you know better, 
you absolutely have to speak up. You have to confront it. You have to put it down. You have to let them know you're not part of that clan. You're not going to be on their side when push comes to shove with that kind of garbage. All too many people who didn't like it were silent about it. And that was the thing that I found most disconcerting. Yeah. Yeah. You have to speak up about it. Whether, whether it's a white person who's whether it's a white person who's racist against blacks or a black person who's racist or prejudiced against all whites there are there are blacks who are <laughs> there are blacks who are straight up racist oh, I, I but more that. often it's it's prejudice it's pre yeah because they, and there's a difference because Racism specifically is the belief in the superiority of one race over another. And many of the blacks that hate whites, that I've known that hate whites, don't believe their, their race is superior to the white race. They just hate whites because they think all whites do what some whites do. Correct, correct, correct. And there is a difference between racism and prejudice. It's not the same thing. But there are blacks, I have met blacks, who firmly, solidly believe that their race is superior to the white race. And they're as wrong as the whites who think that they're superior. Yeah, I haven't met any black though that, you know. I have. I, 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 I've, I've met blacks that I really thought I didn't like, you know, black people. And I've also met some blacks that were nice to me. And that's why I always just say people are having a bad day, you know. Because <laughs> that's the way I look at it until, you know, until... Until there's evidence Until otherwise. there's evidence otherwise, correct. Because there was this day, I mean, there was this, well, there was this instance where we went to, remember when we went to Atlanta? to get uh, our Nigerian passports for myself and the kids because we always have two passports at all times just in case you never know. So we went down there to get passports and we went to a hotel and I was like, babe, just hang in here with the kids because he was driving. Let me go in and, you know, just get everything sorted. I went in and this lady wasn't very nice and she was not nice at all. Like she was just nasty. So I thought, okay, you know, it's, it was late, you know, I was like, oh, she's just tired. And she was, you know, she was my, <laughs> she was my color. <laughs> so I was like, she's probably not very, you know, she, she's not very nice. She's probably just tired. And, you know, when I, when I was, I told you, right, I was like, babe. Yes. <laughs> there's one in there, babe, she's not very nice at all. Like, not nice at all. I mean, she didn't, oh, I asked for a baby crib because, um, William was a baby then, remember? I asked for a crib, a crib in the hotel room. And the reason, one of the reasons we went there because it said, you know, they had cribs, you know? And it was, lady was like, there's no crib. There's nothing, nothing, you know? I was like, ah, okay, I said, this one, babe. <laughs> but we're already there, we, you know, the kids were tired and we were like, okay, we'll just manage. I mean, I asked for a few things. She was just like, no, there's not. The one that was most important was the crib because I wanted the baby to have his own little bed, you know, so, you know, we don't like to stay on the same bed with him. And she said nothing. So <laughs> I said, okay, no problem. Well, I, I was just, pele pele. I also pele pele. I said, okay, no problem. I went outside, I said, babe, why are they inside the bed? Please, make me just in that room. <laughs> She was all worried that I would uh, 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 that I would have a confrontation yeah, with this like, woman uh, yeah, because I'm, I tend to be com confrontational. Yeah, when, people, uh, <laughs> when people are nasty to me or her, I tend her. to be kind of confrontational. Like, yes, I bet. In your face, let's get this done. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be another video. But I was like, babe, I beg, I, I'm just telling you, you know. But please, I beg, we could just go inside room. Uh, in fact, as soon as the whole family came out of the car and we got all our things down and we as soon as, as soon as she saw me and and our children and our light-skinned children she was 
a totally different person. Oh my God. And this, uh, you know, I'm positive, this is an example of prejudice. She Maybe. may have been black, but she still was prejudice of a black woman coming in there. Maybe because late they had short, short hair, maybe? She may have been. She I don't may know. Have thought, Maybe because I don't wear my wig. I just. I, I, my and she hair. went in there with short hair, and my conclusion was the woman thought she was gay. We don't know. We're just. We don't know. We're just I, guessing. I'm just yeah. guessing. I, I'm just guessing. But there was obviously some kind there, of there prejudice. There was some, yeah. Because as soon as the whole and it family, wasn't racism. Like, as soon as everybody got in, this lady just changed. I mean, it was like somebody else. I was like, <laughs> all of a sudden she was sweet. Oh my god! The crib is on its way up to the your room. The crib is on the way. <laughs> Oh my God! In fact, ah no, wow. we just said thank you. <laughs> say thank you. It's 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 just fascinating how people just see you and assume and just you know just treat you so bad just because of their little assumptions. You don't know what people are thinking. Yeah. But the reality is, like I said, everybody has some prejudices. You may not even be aware of your prejudices. But prejudice is simply assuming things that you don't know. Correct, correct, correct. I think like I got when I got here, when I, you know, cuz we have like the bike wake here and when I see a biker it's like, "Oh my god, big bad dude." But you know, apparently I didn't even it didn't even occur to me that when people see Jim, they <laughs> No, he's a biker too. But you know, that was my, you know, that's the way I thought before until, you remember that one guy that worked for us that was a biker? Oh, He was yes. like the sweetest guy. He was like the sweetest oh, yes. guy. Oh, he, yeah. He, 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 he was like a gentle you. giant. I mean, he had all these tattoos and he had long, and he was just <laughs> teddy bear. It was like, wow, you know? So, I, had, I think I had my prejudice. I, you know, I don't know if I still have some. I probably do, you know. I mean, we never know till, you know. Prejudices are born of ignorance. Correct. And you just have to be educated. You just have to educate yourself. The fact of the matter is, it takes practice not to make assumptions about people and things that you don't know. It is natural, it is normal to take what we do know and take a leap with that to a conclusion that isn't necessarily warranted by the facts. Conclusions that are not, uh, that are not based completely on what we know, but on what we guess, what we assume, what we've been told. True, what you've been told, yeah. And if you've grown up in a home where your parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, cousins always talk bad about a particular group of people, then you assume what they're saying is true. I know I grew up with many assumptions that were completely false, not because the people who had those assumptions, not because the people who passed on those assumptions to me were evil, bad, wicked people, but just because that's what they believed. And when confronted with evidence to the contrary, they were willing to change as much as I was. Correct. You have to be willing to change too. You yeah. have to be willing to accept new evidence. If you are unwilling to accept new evidence, then it becomes something different. Then it's not simple prejudice. Yeah, yeah. When new evidence is absolutely irrelevant to you and you continue to behave and think the same way, then it's racism or bigotry. We're beyond prejudice when you when evidence when new evidence won't change your mind.
Let us know what you think. Yeah, let us know we, what you we think. We really want to hear your comments. What do you think? I Share your experiences. Share your experiences. And guys, we're going to do a live stream on this. We don't know if that's going to be the very live, next live stream, right? We're not uh, sure. We, we haven't planned it yet. But, but we're we would like to do a live stream. Correct. On this subject. Uh, on, on this subject. And, um, and just what talk. do you think? Just talk about it. We, Correct. We, but right now, let us know in the comments what you think, what your experiences have been like, you know. We had one police encounter. If you haven't watched it, you need to go watch that video. <laughs> yeah, where, where we got slammed for bank robbery. <laughs> we got slammed for bank robbery, <laughs> you know, go watch that. But apart from that, um, well, have I had... Well, okay, you know what? I'm not going to reveal anything because we have more stories. I have more stories, actually on this racism but we, we we don't want to share it now because we haven't gotten there yet um there, there's background stories to that yeah. so um we will eventually share them but based on what we've discussed today let us know what you think and you know your experiences okay we really want to know on that note oh oh guys we're filming this on valentine's day it is Valentine's this Day. This man made us breakfast. Not me, okay, because I come in a package. <laughs> <laughs> he made us pancakes, eggs, sausages. What else? Bacon. Bacon. And they, it was so good. The little ones loved it. The older ones loved it. I loved it. Yeah, it was it was so good. It was so good. I, we always love it when he makes us pancakes. So <laughs> we were like, can we hear this a little bit more often? At least once a month. <laughs> so I'll do it every day for you, Penny. So that was so good. And then he. I used to do it. I used to it used to do pancakes every every, every weekend. weekend. Every weekend. Every Sunday with pancakes. Every Saturday was French toast, and she made me stop because uh, she said everybody was getting too fat. Uh, <laughs> she said the children were getting too fat, we were getting too fat, I must stop. <laughs> yeah, I waited to stop, but uh, that one had so much food. But yeah, <laughs> so he also made me some cake, can't wait to eat it. So happy Valentine's Day to you out there. I hope you had a good one. We've just been chill, you know, chilling in the house with the kids. Chilling. Chilling. Yeah. I Wait, what, what, what are you going to do on lockdown? <laughs> <laughs> can't do much. And we're not going out there anyway. We can't wait for it to be over though, guys. We, can, we can't. Yeah, we would, like, we would like to be able to go places safely. Oh my gosh. We, we are so looking forward to everybody getting vaccinated. Please get your vaccination. If you're eligible for the vaccination, if it's available, Please get your vaccination. We can't We're going to get vaccinated as soon as we possibly can. Yeah, we can't and just wait to get out there. <laughs> I, I, I want the kids to go back to school. I want to be able to do things. I wanted to get back to swimming or sports. We want to be able to go back to our theme parks. We're in Florida. So if you ever want to visit Florida, guys, just let us know. Because we are Floridians, okay? We have all the Disney's and all the good stuff. This video is already too long. We're gonna cut it off here. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make on a subscribe. Make on a subscribe. Subscribe for G. We did gonna help us. We want just 20,000. Guys, we grew so fast. It's so amazing. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate Thank you, you so guys much. so much. Now get us to 10 million. 20,000. 10 million. 20,000. She's going to cut this, but 10 million. <laughs> All right, we love you guys. Bye. Love you.